And welcome back to Let's Play Sonic 2. And we are in Chemical Plant. So it's so there's just a city on this island. Yeah, probably Eggman built it. Don't know why I'm going up here, but eh. the look. Yeah, I look for secrets. Yeah, man, Whee! I'm secret. <laughs> but I'll say this: uh, Chemical Plant. Um, a lot of people don't like Chemical Plant. It's confusing, I'm assuming. Yeah. But I do like the um, the Sonic Generations version of it. Both versions, classic and um, modern. We won't see that on this channel just yet. Uh, wasn't wasn't uh, classic Sonic supposed to be voiced by Jill White? Uh, yes. I remember hearing that. But Sega kind of dropped the ball. Why? They couldn't get any contact in time for some production. You do know Julia White has done nothing but sci-fi channel original movies since. It's Sega, you know. It's Sega. Sometimes they get slack. Oh, dude. Here's something. Uh, the Sonic, um... God, what was it? The Sonic 30th Anniversary, I think? The 25th. 25th Anniversary Livestream is one of the most hilarious, cringe-worthy things ever. Well... Lately, all the retro stuff, Sega and Capcom, been taking, they've been taking a shit on it. Like with Sonic, with Sonic Boom. Uh, now we're like an independent game maker. No, no fault of his is doing Sonic Man. And this is the same, you know, game maker that brought us Sonic 2 for the Android and Sonic 1 and CD, which he did really good. Yeah, yeah. It didn't Sega hire a guy who made Dom Hack for Sonic? Yeah, I'm, that's the guy I'm talking about. Oh, uh, okay. And yeah, we've just um, finished the first act of Chemical Plant. It's relatively short. Fair enough. Yeah. But, you know, it's just like, a lot of the game, like, um... A lot of the, like, companies are not showing love to the retro, the stuff that made them famous. Like, Sega, um, Sega and Sonic, um, Capcom with Street Fighter and Mega Man. We don't mention Street Fighter V. Um, I have not played Street Fighter V. You're 5. not playing Street Fighter V. That's what, in order. What is wrong with Street Fighter V? Everything. Like, in a straight up, like, conversation. What Char is wrong? The characters, too many DLCs. I mean, um, the online gaming. That's what's wrong with it. Well, they did release uh, King of Fighters like 14, I think. Yeah, I haven't heard any reviews on it yet, and I'm, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Um, to it. Um, I wish you had a PlayStation 4, because guess what we'll be playing? Uh, that. Yes. Well, you don't have a PlayStation 4 either. So I have a three. Go. I'm gonna get a four, and I'm gonna make sure it's region um free. Yay, we can play random Japanese games. Yes. Yes. And on top of that, um, Vita is um, region free. And we're back into the special stage. Yay! And I don't know if I remember if I um, beat this special stage finally or not. Who knows? Who cares? We'll find out at the end. Da, da, da. Next time! On Dragon Ball Z. Ooh, I almost got hit by that mom. Um, but, but anyway, as I was mentioning about the Sonic uh, live stream, it is so cringeworthy. Like, the music, like, stops halfway, and there's literally some got technician guy there the entire time just trying to fix the sound and stuff. Sounds like our panel. So yeah, it, it kept Minus on the technician guy. Yeah, so it kept on going back and forth, back and forth. Wow. But unlike us, who, you know, two dudes who literally were working work out of his mother's basement. We don't work no, out. Um, we don't work out. I work out of my mother's basement. Also, you uh, do you even have a basement? No, I don't have a basement. Yeah, I live in an apartment, so. Well, for now you do. Yes, but you know what I mean. I'm just saying. I'm jelly, but I digress. But you do let me work here sometimes. Sure. Um, but yeah, we're not an, a professional company. You know? That has multi million dollars. Speaking of that, where does all this money go? I mean, seriously, Sega. Um, it goes. Eh. 
Well, I can tell you one thing it goes to. Four, four down, three to go. Yay. But here's something it goes to. Licensing characters in the Sonic comics. Well, I was going to talk about the Sonic comics in this part because I've read a couple. And, I'm, and this is pre-Sonic Boom. Ugh. Well, before you actually get on that topic, let me tell you what's been going on in the comics. Just, just bear with me on this one because okay. it's related to where some of Sega's money's been going. Uh, Son, the, most of the Sonic comics have been made by Archie Comics. You know uh -huh. the people who make the Archie comics. Yeah, that, that's what I've been reading. Yes. Anyway, um, since and we're in the tre one of the water, the treaded water parts. Well, yeah, I, I'm assuming this would be really awful if you're playing as Sonic. If you're not slow enough, and yeah, I got the um, drowning theme. There you go. We can't hear it, so. Well, use your imagination. No, I'm just... Anyway, um, like two years ago, they apparently a contract that Sega and Archie Comics signed, uh, like got lost. The paperwork did. So they had to write up an entirely new contract. However, with this new contract, there is a loophole in the old one. Uh, the guy who is mostly writing all the Sonic stuff, that you know, introduced new characters that he made up, right. literally filed a copyright because he o said he owned all the characters featured in the comic. Uh. Outside the characters made by Sega. And he won, too. So, literally, Sega has to pay his dude. And I got Simon and Belmont Oh! Too. But yeah, Sega has to pay this dude if they want to have any of these side characters he made for the comics to show up. What are the side? Who, for who? Uh, I don't, I don't really remember. It, like, it's not like the ones, like, from Adventure and, you know. No, pretty much all the... It, Characters that are exclusive to the comics, like any characters that you see in the like cartoons or the anime or the video games, there those are all owned by Sega. There were tons I of fail again, but tons of important characters that were in the comics were owned, created by this one dude. So much so that uh, when Sonic had the crossover with Mega Man. Yeah. Because that happened. And that, I heard that was good. Oh, it was really good. They, uh, Archie Comics did a Sonic reboot. They rebooted Sonic's universe, the comic universe. Yeah. To pretty much so they didn't have to use most of the characters owned by this guy. Yeah, and they had like, you know, they had some of my like favorite um, characters. Um, like the Anti-Sonic, and also known as Scourge. Um, yeah, owned by that guy. What? I am dead serious. Literally half the characters. The suppression squad and all that. Yep, owned what? by this guy. No. I cannot remember this dude's name, but he worked on this comic for about the comic series for about ten years. Literally, mo everything for the last like ten years in the comics was written by this one dude. You gotta be kidding me! So all the stuff. Comics that I liked, yep. and then this reboot, which now we got the Sonic Boom reboot. <laughs> yes, but I'm just I'm just explaining. There's still the Sonic, you know, Adventure slash uh, Sad AM comics. Yeah, they com kind of combine those. Yeah, that's still around. However, most of the characters that showed up in the comics before this guy left the company. You know, all those characters never showed up. They got that got rebooted and stuff. Ah, uh, so no Princess Sally. Oh no, Sally's still in the comics. Sally was created for the cartoon. Um, no. Okay. So any characters that showed up in the cartoon, they're they're owned by Sega. Um, However, any characters that showed up exclusively to the comic is owned by that guy. Yes. So pretty much. Sega had to make an entirely new contract for anybody who makes characters for their for the current Sonic series, uh, meaning that they own them. It 
This is why you write contracts very well and keep paperwork. Yeah. I was a fan of the um the story arc where, you know, Sonic goes into the um I wouldn't say negative zone, but like the alternate universe where um his counterpart is evil and Dr. Eggman is the good guy. I love alternate reality stories like that. Those are yeah. really cool. But, you know, the anti-Sonic man should take over his own universe type thing. Yeah, sounds about right. Uh, yeah. But again, that will never be explored again because it's owned by that some other guy. Uh, yeah, that sucks. And here's the funny thing. The guy is actually publishing his own comic with all the characters. Why again, Sega? Sega drops the ball again. He didn't. Sega hasn't. Sega can't do anything because he. He lost all those good characters. Yeah, that's the sucky thing. Again, this is all just like paper, paper lawsuit stuff. This is why you keep paperwork. Next time, though, Archie should just hire the Punisher and take him out. <laughs> that would have been easy, dude. Here's here's another thing. Did you know there's a there's a Sonic slash Image Comics crossover? Uh, yep. Yeah, uh, with characters like Savage Dragon, the Max, uh, Spawn, um, a few of the characters from the Young Blood series. Sonic meets. Yeah. With meets Sonic the Hedgehog. It's done in like this very goofy comic style. Well, I can understand Savage Dragon. Oh. Because they used to come on the USA one. And I don't have enough rings. Oh, and then there's also Boulder and Scully for the X Files there too. Uh, what they said to investigate Doctor Eggman? No, they're investigating investigating the whole thing. Doctor Eggman doesn't actually even show up in the comic. It's Doctor. We we actually never named this guy. Is the main villain? I read it. Uh, at La Larry had a copy of this. I found. I should have bought it. You buy everything else and you didn't buy that? I don't know, it was interesting, but it was in this dollar thing, and I never found it again. Oh, come on, I was spin dash, and how did that fucking thing hit, hit me? Well, it's because it had drill in its on its I face. was drilling too! It had a drill. And yes, that was grounded from the cartoon. Yes. So, um, I've been in the war way too long, too. Do we see Scratch from the cartoon? Later. Gotcha. Still been in the woods. Oh, there we go. Oh. Um, and we haven't even been talking much about the zone. We've just been ranting. No, no, no. But, but it, it's been related. Yeah, but you know we're at the boss now. Da 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 da. And I'll just have some ruins and a big hammer. This is not at all like the um ball and chain. Well, Doctor Eggman kind of got. I mean. Dr. Robotnik, Eggman, whatever. And I fail. He, he's kind of cheap some weeks. Yeah, because it's Eggman. Oh, wait. Um, and, and notice another thing about Sonic 2 in this version. I keep my rings! Woo! And now I'm just gonna cheese the fight. I believe I can fly. Knuckles doesn't fly, he glides. I believe I can touch the sky. He glides the sky, and it... I... And I'm getting clipped I don't off. even know what the rest of the song actually, actually goes. <laughs> actually, when I was in New York, um, I had to sing that song for chorus. Why? That's not as long you would sing for chorus. I like that song, but that's not a song you would sing for chorus. We lip synced it too. But anywho, we'll see you in part three for more um, Sonic 2. Catch you later. Toodles.